Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. And this week, our special guest, Andrew Kelly. Andrew, how are you today? How are you doing? Happy to be here. Yeah. So, Andrew, you're from Fredericton. You have your own little production company that you have. Yeah. I uh, I was born in Labrador and moved up to Fredericton about 15 years ago. I own a business called Samus Forever Creative Studio, and I'm also a co-owner of a creative co-working space uh, in downtown Fredericton where we have a lot of artists and creatives come and make music, make videos, make podcasts, all from one space. A whole bunch of different things. Yeah. So. Let's talk a little bit about why you're here and, and uh, why you're talking to me and why uh, what's going on. So I uh, met you a few months back when you were working with the Chamber of Commerce. You were doing a bunch of videos for various businesses in town that won a contest. Trust of, Local. Uh, yeah. Trust Local, yeah. you know, and the Shop Local uh, stuff. So you came up and videotaped a whole bunch of people. And that's how we met. And right so, here in this right here right here in this yeah, building right here You're right, right, in here. Spot. Yeah, right <laughs> in the spot this is where you filmed me and so uh our whole discussion was linked to uh the work that you had done during uh covid of 2020 and an idea that i had of giving people that came to thermalwood canada uh or the people that couldn't come to thermalwood canada the same experience that they that they would get when they walked into our building and went in the back and so we started talking about virtual and you had done some work on on uh virtual tours so let's talk a little bit about that yeah well uh i had bought this camera uh just before the pandemic had had come around and you know some of the realtors were a little apprehensive about this new technology they were used to just the photos and just doing things the, the way they had been doing it but I had proposed that no one can get into these houses. I have this camera, it's called a Matterport 3D camera. Um, and we started to make the houses available so people from outside of the province could actually get into the houses and see them without just looking at random pictures, not really understanding the flow of the home. And, uh, and then, you know, it also helped because people didn't want people coming and going through their houses because of all the like the precautions and the rules and everything that was going on with, uh, with COVID. So I'd go into houses, everyone would leave the house, I'd shoot the house, and then uh, we'd put the, fo the the project up or put the, the Matterport up online and people would be able to, you know, shop around and actually experience the houses without actually being able to go into them. And then that led me to a project we did with the local fire department where the kids weren't able to go and actually visit the fire department like they normally would do and that's part of you know part of growing up is getting to, to learn about the fire department it's yeah. one of the best trips of the year you know exactly and uh so anyway the local fire department had reached out to me and said we have this idea we had heard through some of the realtors you work with that you might be able to do something so i proposed that we put together a project where we had videos throughout the fire department that gave information as the kids explored the fire department virtually and still got the same education they would have if they had been there in person. So the discussion that we had led into you telling me about this. And then your light bulb went off. Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, history is going to be made because yeah. I guess, you know, and, and one of the things, and we just finished doing an exercise where we set up a, a, a whole chest of ideas and stuff that we're going to do and stuff we're going to film. But part of it is really allowing people to have that experience of coming to visit Thermalwood Canada. Without even being in the country yeah. or in the in anywhere near us, really, you'll be able to you'll be able to have people explore and and you'll be able to educate them about what you do and how you do it here, um, just by leading them through online and and letting people explore it themselves. Well, we talked about it a little bit more a while ago when we we're talking about everything that we had to videotape and how we're going to interlink and everything and and it's funny, you know, this was uh, uh, kind of the the concept of it came to me when. You know, everything was in lockdown and yeah. nobody could come in. And so, but then again, you know, COVID now, the rules are changing and everything is starting to open back up again, but we still deal all over the world. So somebody from Japan isn't going to, you know, I'll be there Friday afternoon or from France or from anywhere at all. They're not just going to drop in and go for a tour. So we want to be able to give them that experience. And yeah. so this is an opportunity, right? Absolutely. I think, I think, uh, I think that you're not only going to be able to have people see what you do, but you're going to have your personality in there, you know, leading the way through it as if they were experiencing a tour with you. Um, and they're going to save a lot of money on flights. Well, that's, that's for, sure. <laughs> for sure. That's for sure. But, but it's, it's taking, and, and this is the interesting part about linking different stuff, right? Yeah, so different mediums, right? This yeah. whole uh, uh, Matterport comes out of uh, 
of uh, real estate, you know, people being able to take tours. And I heard about this technology a few years back, but, you know, not a whole pile of people use it. But museums have been using that for years when uh, galleries, taking museums, tours, galleries yeah, and that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So here it is. We're going to use it as an industrial uh, site showing people what they have and trying to give people the same experience of walking in here and go, whoa. You know, and and then with your interest in videos, it makes it it makes it even easier because we're going to actually put the videos within the tour. So as you're exploring it, you'll be able to go up to a machine, hit the button, and then learn about that machine without actually having to be here or yeah. see it in action. Which is gonna be so. This cool. is the first step. Today you're in Today's here. We're step. starting to uh, you know put things on paper, trying to get things in order, figuring out what are the shots we need to take, what do we need to put in place, organizing certain things to happen at certain times. So you're going to be back over a number two or three more and, trips to be able to make and, this any happen. Any excuse to get up to uh, the Shore region works for me. I, I, well, I like it up here. There we go. Yeah. Well, listen, I really appreciate this. I think we're going to have a tremendous journey. We're going to have a lot of fun I doing this. I can't wait. Well, it's, it's already rocking. We're already going. Well, there yeah. we go. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming up. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And uh, really a great appreciate podcast. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great. Well, we're going to tie this into the to the uh, virtual tour, too. We talked about that Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll have it. So when you come in, you'll be able to go right into the office and uh, and visit the Northern Heat and, and check out all the videos. Everything's well, happening in one spot. Everything's going to happen yeah, in the one virtual, spot. The metaverse. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah, enter the metaverse. Perfect. Thank Perfect. you very much. No problem. Thank you very so much. So there we are with another edition of Northern Heat for this week, the place you go to to hear the stories that haven't been discovered yet.